bringing you some STG44 gameplay. So if you didn't already know, there are three new DLC weapons on Advanced Warfare, which is why I got back on. The Blunderbuss Shotgun, SVO Sniper Rifle, and STG44 Assault Rifle, which is what you'll be seeing a lot of in this video. If you haven't already, you can watch my Supply Drop opening video I uploaded earlier, where I got a bunch of cool stuff, including the STG44 variant. Which, by the way, you need to get the variants of the new guns to unlock the base variants to use. I know a lot of people aren't happy with this because honestly, what's the chance of you getting one of the variants of these guns in a normal supply drop? Pretty much have to buy advanced supply drops for a chance to get the new weapons and this upset a lot of people and to be honest, I don't think it's fair that they did that. So anyways, on to the gun. I freaking love this gun. The thing has a nice rate of fire, 30 bullets, awesome iron sights, and kills fast. The only downside in my opinion is the moderate to high recoil. Personally, I don't think the recoil is that bad, but it seems to just like jump straight up and then the gun itself blocks your view, making it impossible to kill somebody that's prone or really far away. I would definitely use foregrip on this to help with the recoil, maybe even red dot to manage it better, but honestly, I love the iron sights and I love the way it shoots. You can pretty much outgun anyone with this. It seems better than the Val in my opinion, which is pretty insane that they would release a DLC gun that seems more powerful than the best gun in the game. I heard that the SVO sniper was really good too. Too. I played with a blunderbuss. It looked cool. I was super excited when I saw it, but I legit could go to the bathroom and come back while reloading because it takes way too long. So I don't think I'm going to make a video on that unless you guys want to see it. Anyways, let's talk about tips and class setups for the STG. Every time I say STG, I want to say STD. <laughs> As I said before, definitely put a grip on it. Personally, I like grip, extended mags, and quick draw. I tried suppressor out instead of grip. It wasn't too bad. I always use quick draw on assault rifles, and I like extended mags on the STG because it feels like it reloads a little slower than other weapons, and it really does help with going on streaks or clearing out the enemy team if you manage to flank around. Unfortunately, I didn't get the royalty Iron Claw or Relic variants, but I'm sure they're beasts because the base variant is already insanely good in my opinion. As for perks, I personally like using Lightweight to move faster, low profile, and Blast Suppressor for some stealth and maneuvering around the map. Also Toughness because honestly, it's somewhat needed on Assault Rifles if you're facing decent or good players. I was only using UAV to help me find people, but you could honestly take off Lightweight and Perk Greed for two more streaks or a Stun Grenade or Exo Ability. It's really up to you. But anyways, that's all for today. The DLC guns are only on Xbox One for now, but PS4 will get them next month. Honestly, I can't wait for Black Ops 3 to come out. Then I don't have to hook up my VCR, I mean Xbox, to play DLC early. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what kind of COD videos you guys want to see, because honestly, when it comes to COD, I don't know what to upload until Black Ops 3 beta comes out. It's less than a month away, and I've been waiting ever since E3 to play it again. It's honestly so much better than Advanced Warfare. It's just focused on regular gunfights, no exosuits, jumping around, shooting, doing crazy stuff. It's just like Black Ops 2, but much better. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face and subscribe to join the Wolf Pack. Oh, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.